Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Mining News Flash. Today with Caliber Mining Canada, Nickel Oil, Cisco, Gold Royalties, and Gold Mining here on Commodity TV. Caliber Mining announced that the relevant Nicaraguan authorities have granted the company key environmental permits for the development and production of the open pit mines at the Vulcan Gold Deposit, located approximately 5 km south of the Libertad Mill. With an initial open pit resource averaging 2 grams gold per ton, drilling in 2023 confirmed that the deposit can host higher grade near surface gold mineralization. With the receipt of this important permit in Vulcan's proximity to the Libertad Mill, which has over 1 million tons of excess capacity, the deposit is expected to contribute to the company's production profile in the second half of this year already. Canada Nickel has several exploration properties in a new subsidiary. The company has signed a binding letter of intent with Noble Mineral Exploration Inc., under which Canada Nickel and Noble will contribute certain mining properties, including the existing main joint venture, to a new private company called Explore Co. to consolidate their respective interests in the portfolio of nickel projects northeast of Timmins in Ontario. As part of the transaction, Canada Nickel will consolidate ownership of mining rights and access to surface rights to certain key patents in various townships currently held by Noble, which will facilitate and simplify the future development of Crawford and other nearby regional properties owned by Canada Nickel. Explore Co. will control 1,989 mining claims, totaling approximately 42,000 hectares, comprising nickel properties in Man, Newmarket, Rioon townships, as well as Calder, Galma, McCool, Modi, Mortimer, Stimson, and other properties currently owned by Canada Nickel. The first $5 million of Explore Coast funding will be provided from Canada Nickel's existing resources. Thereafter, the cost will be funded by Canada Nickel's 80% and Noble's 20% pro rata interest. Canada Nickel and Noble will retain their existing royalty rights to the Explore Co. claims, as will previous claims owners who sold their claims to Noble. Osisco Gold Royalties generated over 20,000 attributable gold equivalent ounces called GEOs in the second quarter of 2024 and recorded preliminary royalties and streams revenue of $64.8 million and preliminary cost of sales of $2.2 million, resulting in a record cash margin of approximately $62.6 million or 97%. As at 30th June 2024, Osisco's cash position was approximately $65.7 million, following $44.2 million of repayments on the company's revolving credit facility in the second quarter. A total of $87.9 million was repaid in the first half of 2024. The company's revolving credit facility was approximately $109 million drawn at the end of June 2024, with an additional $441 million available to be drawn, plus the uncommitted credit facility of up to $200 million. Gold Mining has announced further results from recently completed drilling at Sao Jorge in Brazil. These confirm additional mineralization, including 19 meters grading 1.24 grams gold per ton. The results from these two holes near the, the western known extent of the main Sao Jorge deposit help to delineate the mineralized corridor. Further oriented diamond core drilling will help to model these zones and improve resource confidence. In addition, the auger drilling program continued to map bedrock lithology and geochemically sample the in situ saprolite that underlies broad surface soil anomalies. This is expected to help define vectors towards potential new zones of mineralization in the bedrock. Further updates on the drill program at Sao Jorge will follow soon. You can also find all the information on our Commodity TV app in German and English, as well as everything to do with commodities. We look forward to your like and, more importantly, please subscribe to our TV channel. Please note the disclaimer. The shares discussed are or will be part of the SRC Mining Special Situation Certificate and I'm a shareholder in the companies. Thanks for watching us and Servus from Austria.